I cannot be the only one who has had a huge problem distinguishing one Rolls Royce model from the other. <laughs> Today I'm going to be taking you on the most luxurious trip you have ever been on. Like literally, no kidding. Today I'm going to be talking about the most luxurious brand of cars ever to be made. So hop on and ride with me. If you're new here, please do want to tap on the bell icon below to turn on post notifications and subscribe too. I am begging. Thank you. Okay, so I cannot be the only one who has had a huge problem distinguishing one Rolls Royce model from the other. When I think I was the only one, I like, asked a few people and everybody was like, no, no. Or all they know is Rolls Royce. They can't even tell if there's any model. Some people don't even know if Rolls Royce is like the brand or the model. Like it was just really hilarious. So I took the liberty to do a bit of research to find out more information on Rolls Royce. And today I have decided to share them with you. So yes, for those of you that don't know, you'll be able to distinguish between the Wraith and the Ghost or from the Ghosts and the Phantom and the rest of them. So stick around. Rolls Royce actually has been in existence for over a hundred years. Yes, I know that is actually very shocking, but this is, in fact, let me just give you the gist. In the year 1884, a man called Henry Roy started a company or a business, a mechanical and electrical business Okay, and in 1904, he manufactured or produced his first car. In May the same year, he met this man called Charles Rolls. Charles Rolls at the time in London used to sell only luxury cars. So both of them came together and then they decided to form a merger. Okay, the deal was Henry Royce would produce the cars and Charles Rolls would sell the cars. This merger is what we refer today as Rolls Royce. The most luxurious brand of cars ever okay so now i think i'm just going to talk about the cars and give you like distinguishing features so when you see one on the road you'll be able to identify and be like oh okay that's a dawn right the dawn now the dawn is for the free spirited okay it's owned in nigeria by the famous artist bernard boy as everyone will know his own is a red the dawn personally i used to feel like dawn is for ladies I don't know why, it just has that sexy feminine appeal. Maybe I'm wrong, it's just how I feel about it. Anyway, so the Dawn is a convertible. Yes, it's a convertible coupe. A coupe is a car with like two doors. That's one on each side. So the Dawn isn't actually the most technologically advanced, but it's still a very great ride. When we move into the cabin, it presents us with nothing but sexy, alluring, exquisiteness it's actually a very, very spacious cabin for a car that seats for and uh, it's okay when we move over to the trunk space it's not exactly the same but that's because of the convertible nature there's not much we can do about that still it's suitable for all your suitcases and the rest of them it might not just be big enough when you put your bike in it Anyway, it's powered by a twin turbocharged 6.6 liter V12, which exerts about 563 horsepower. Powerful ride for such opulence. I don't know if that's a word to put in, but that's how I feel about it. Anyway, this car is for the free spirited, for those that don't exactly like to be tied down. So if this is your persona, please, 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 and please, the Rolls Royce Stone is for you. Of course, all Rolls Royce cars come with the big grills and the signature headlamp styles, but the Dawn is only and only a convertible. So next up, we have the Rolls Royce Ghost. This, I think, is the most popular. Well, it is the most affordable. Maybe that's the reason actually the most popular, but it doesn't make it less exquisite or, you know. You know when you see like Rolls Royce is on the road, you don't say, oh, I pulled up in a Rolls Royce. Mm -hmm. That's like a huge slap in the face. You say I arrived in a Rolls Royce. Like why would you even pull up? No, 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 no. You arrive in a Rolls Royce. That is a whole lot of exquisiteness. I have to keep emphasizing on this word exquisite. No, 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 no. You can't. Mm -mm. 
don't don't do that. that that's that's an insult anyway to the most affordable rose rice which is the ghost this is a sedan um yes it's all, it also has the same engine as the dawn it is powered by a 6.6 liter twin turbocharged v12 which exerts just about the same horsepower 563 horsepower the handling isn't exactly um as expected it's actually lesser than expected but still it's a Rolls royce it's a Rolls royce it's still mad and better way better than your whole long rides you might just think that oh it's pricey for such expectation but it is a Rolls Royce period I say what I said okay this is just me kidding but well if you're going to distinguish between the Dawn and the Ghost just hold on to this the Ghost is a proper four-door sedan and the door the Dawn is a convertible so I think that will make it easier for you to be able to distinguish them, right? Then we have the one I refer to as the Royalty Series. The Rolls Royce of the Rolls Royce Series. We are talking, or I am talking about, technically because I'm alone. The Phantom. The Almighty Phantom. Oh my God. The Phantom is the first class of the roads. In fact, saying it is the first class of the roads is actually undermining it a whole lot. This is pure royalty. Looking at it, it already won't look demeaning. It looks like you put it on the road and then you have like a daily driver and then you put it beside it or maybe you guys are in traffic. You said you know that you're supposed to shift. Like shift away from there, boo. Like you weren't supposed to be close to me, boo. Anyway, this basically has the same engine as the other series I've talked about. It is powered by a 6.6 liter twin turbocharged V12. It exerts about 563 horsepower and accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.1 seconds. Tell me about opulence. This car has carriage. Like, even the car said, at least the other ones will be saying, okay, the Dawn speaks Nigerian English, the Ghost speaks American English, this Phantom speaks pure Queen's English. British! British! Can someone give me a glass of water? Okay, that was just downright hilarious. Anyway, the Phantom has a lot of safety tech features that are actually mind blowing. Tell me about the car that has portable sensing cameras. Anyway, this is the most opulent and the most expensive of the series. Thank you to me for telling you about the Phantom. If you put the Phantom beside other cars, other Rolls Royce models, it has like you'll be able to distinguish it it has like a totally different look talk about the grills are bigger like way bigger in fact it looks like royalty when they say that a car looks like royalty the phantom even yeah the name phantom phantom it's it's pure royalty so it has like bigger grills fiercer headlamps and the rest of them the rest of them oh and it's silent too oh god it is so silent for a car that has a V12, ah, twin turbocharged V12. Hey, of course, they have to make this silent because you're not going to want to be in, in a car like that and then you are hearing noise. No. These are cars that you don't say, I am being driven in. You are being chauffeured in cars like this. But anyway, that's all about the Phantom. So if you see it on the road, you definitely be able to identify it. So now I'm going to be talking about the Rolls Royce Ray. The Wraith was actually born of the ghost. I like to put it that way. So it's safe to say that the Rolls Royce Wraith is a ghost, but a coupe. It has two doors instead of like the sedan, four door sedan that the ghost actually is. It's also powered by a twin turbocharged V12, 6.6 liter actually, but this pushes out more power. It exerts 624 horsepower and 605 pound feet of torque relatively faster than the rest of them and just as beautiful the cabin presents us with nothing but luxury 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 everywhere anyway safety tech features are also present in this particular model as well as in the others just like we have the rain sensing windshield wipers and the infotainment system oh talk about great speakers it gives us eight an eight speaker stereo system so if you're going to hold on to something if you want to distinguish the ghost 
from the wraith, just remember that, that the ghost is a sedan, so it has four doors. The dawn is a convertible, two doors, and a convertible, coupe, and a convertible. Then the wraith is just a coupe, simply put, two doors. Very okay, so now we're down to the most distinguishable model being produced by Rolls Royce. This is what we call, or what Rolls Royce has called, the Cullinan. It's easily distinguishable because it is the only SUV being produced by Rolls Royce. It's also tagged the most expensive SUV in the whole world. Talk about a car that might not exactly be so beautiful to some people, but it speaks nothing but wealth. Like, when you see it, it just, it sounds like, I'm for the rich, I'm for the wealthy, I'm for the 1% of the 1%. Imagine a car that just keeps louding that in your ears. It's also the most sold Rolls Royce model. Can you believe that? Like, everybody literally is rushing the Cullinan. That is, that's, that's just mind blowing. So the Cullinan is powered by a 6.7 liter, this time, 6.7 liter twin turbocharged V12 engine, which pushes out 563 horsepower. That is mad. It accelerates from zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. For an SUV that is so heavy, that is super cool. So when you're riding in it, it actually feels like you're floating. That is because of the adjustable air suspensions. These people actually take their time to uncraft these cars. Just like the Phantom. The Phantom is literally customized for their clients to the last detail. Rolls-Royce has to be the most amazing luxury brand of cars ever to be made. Okay, so if I'm going to talk about the general attributes of all Rolls-Royce models. Yes, they all roll on 20-inch wheels. They speak nothing but exquisiteness, opulence, luxury, basically. But that's not just all. I think my favorite feature of some of the models is the studded rooftop, which is called or tagged the star gaze hey imagine driving in a car that the roof just looks like heaven oh no talk about the wood splashed all over the car it is absolutely beautiful i do hope to get a model one day to make a proper review on it and show you how good it moves it moves like especially the rate the rate moves like your typical sport car not as fast though but it still looks like don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me don't stay my white don't stay my white stuff like that but then anyway guys thank you for joining me today we have arrived at our destination i'm very sorry but you have to alight from this luxury ride only me i'm going to continue from here and come and meet you another time again with another luxury ride again anyway thank you so much for joining me it's been a very 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 great short while with you if you haven't subscribed yet please do well to subscribe and tap on the bell icon below to turn on post notifications don't forget to give my video a thumbs up i know you love me so you will anyway i'd share my video too i love you thank you thank you thank you thank you i'll see you some other time bye